Hello everyone and welcome back to um, Slyco Print and Thieves Dracunas. Hey dudes. This time around I actually remember to show off a little thing here. Oh my. Because this is a cutscene that is actually easily missed. My favorite kind of cutscene. And by that I mean it's easily missed in the sense that if you miss it here, you'll it'll see it later when you open up this mouth. So it's just better to show it off now. To Mugshot's penthouse is contained within that giant head. So how do we get in? This is the best elevator way, by the way. Have it hidden in your own head. But you need all seven keys to open it up. Logically. Mm -hmm. And I mean, of course, I padlock the lever to my top secret elevator with some wooden planks. <laughs> yeah, and and like eight locks. No, seven locks actually. Yes, but the locks don't matter if they can just break the planks. Yeah, maybe. So uh, one thing I actually forgot to mention, we actually forgot to mention last video was the, uh, it was the the, uh, the page we got from the Thieves Raccoonus, or for the Thieves Raccoonus rather. It was yeah. the uh, water safety move. It is probably there are so there are some pages in this game that give you like like safety against falling into water or falling into a pit and whatnot. And I would say that those are probably the most useful pages from the TV Raccoonus that you can ever get. They do sound pretty useful, because the water has already killed you like twice. <laughs> For bullshit reasons, I mean, the rocket launcher which hit you, I'm not blame it. So yeah, so yeah, for example, take the water safety, you will, when you have that page, you will never get damaged by water. But you will get damaged by that electrified water thing? Yeah. Exactly, because it's not the water that's uh, hurting you, it's the electricity. Come come for the water, stay for the electricity. <laughs> yeah, it sounds, it sounds like my favorite Pokemon, Lantern. Uh, but, um... Is Lantern your favorite? No, it, it's not. In fact, it's not even my favorite water Pokemon. Lantern is a pretty cool dude. Uh. Lantern is a pretty cool dude, but he's not my favorite water Pokemon, nor is he my favorite electric, electric, electric Pokemon. I want to say electricity Pokemon, that, that sounds really stupid. Well, it's better than uh, the Pokemon DCG calling steel Pokemon metal. <laughs> Fair enough. And also grouping the rock, ground, and fighting Pokemon all in one. Yeah, true. So, uh, this is a little uh, side area that you never actually have to go to. It's just here. There's no, there are no bottles in there. The only thing that's there is this uh, horseshoe. And also here I show off the water safety thing. Which is neat. You needed to learn from a book how to swim. No. We, That's no, all no, I'm see, we didn't swim. We just did not get damaged by water. You doggy paddle. Yeah. We, uh, That's we, not no. a compliment. <laughs> And now, also, here's a neat little gimmick, I guess. Wow. Not really I don't special. Know, I don't like this sort of gimmick too much. Well, you know, you're supposed to be a thief, so you're supposed to hide behind walls. Well, of course, just not a fan of this particular gimmick. No, fair for enough. some reason, it reminds me of uh, Spider Man for the PlayStation 1. The first game? Yes. Mm. Which was pretty damn cool. <clears throat> Also, also, I never actually played it. I only played the second, the second uh, game, uh, and mostly the third game. The one with Electro. Oh uh, no, not the uh, what was it called, the Electro's Revenge. No, I mean the uh, second, Sp the Spider-Man Two game. I meant. Oh, the pro from the film. Yeah, and it's also the Spider-Man Three game, mostly. Oh no, I haven't. I only played a little bit of Spider-Man Two, and I find it boring. That's uh, uh, yeah, each its own. Yeah, I. I love the cartoony look of the of the PlayStation One. Hmm. Also, I don't know what happened there. It's still um, a fun game, though, Spider-Man. If you have the time, give it a look. Also, you can watch the speed run of it in this year's Summer Games and Quick. They have it up in the archives or something. Uh, yeah, it's on the Reddit thread. That would mean I have to go to Reddit. I'm not sure. You can just go to that one thread. It was linked on something awful, so it's not as shitty as the rest of Reddit. 
All right, fine. I'll check it out, I guess. I could have broken this code in my. Sleep. I hope so. The combination is five, six, five. Just stay in that thread. Only the original post. Read it. Click the links. Go there. Mm -hmm. We'll see if I'll check it up or not. So uh, after getting a pretty much one of the more useful pages, we get one of the less useful pages. Sir Andrew Cooper's thief replica technique. He used to make fake yeah. standoffs of himself to confuse guards into attacking the wrong thing. Use the triangle button to put together a fake Sly Cooper. I'm imagining now a Chinese knockoff of Sly Cooper. Like, Sly Raccoon. <laughs> with three O's. <laughs> Sly, Rac Sly Raccoon from uh, Dragon Ball. Yeah, like those, uh... Protectors of the universe, which are like Naruto, Superman, Power Rangers, that sort of thing. <laughs> like the the sort of thing that Ashton's reviews. Yeah. So uh, so anyway, the DK is doesn't really have much much use. Much like like the one problem I have with most of the moves in this game is that if you can use the move, then you probably have more time to just run away. But the decoy, but and the, even the hell, the decoy doesn't even really work properly. If the enemies have spotted you, they will still attack you. Also, hit themselves with wrong weapons. Yeah, of course. But yeah, it's like the decoy isn't even even for like being even for supposedly being like you know, it's supposed to uh, distract enemies. It doesn't really distract enemies unless you're like way way away from them. If you're way, the, way away from them, why would you need to distract them then? Exactly. Yeah. Yeah, that's the thing with most decoy moves in games. Yeah. So it's like, yeah. So even, so even, so it's somehow even worse than the mine glove or the mine, the mine hat, I guess. Yeah, mine hat has the problem of having very low range. My boys have been. Yeah, and also the same problem as the decoy in being, you know, having to. And skulls and. <laughs> yeah. And, and so anyway, mugshot. You're the monkey wrench in my operation? Some scrawny rat with a stick! I love, I, I do like mugshot. Wait a second. I will say. I seen that stick before. Maybe when my father knocked your block off with it. Your father? Wow! Wow. He's got chicken legs. <laughs> you notice that? Had a lot of nice pictures, the, 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 it's a good thing you notice that. Actually, so you don't mind just I mean, as someone who goes to the gym, ladies, he needs to work on his legs. <laughs> you shouldn't miss. You shouldn't skip leg day, bro. Well, no, not if he violated. Doesn't, he doesn't need to, like, walk on his legs. If he has to walk on his arms. Still, you shouldn't miss leg day, bro. <laughs> Do you even lift with your legs, bro? So anyway, mugshot. Um, so this is mugshot's fight. It's you. I, I do show it off here because you can actually hurt Mugshot yourself. Too strong for your cane. You're gonna you only to you literally tickles him. him. Yeah, whereas my dad actually hit him with his cane though. Somehow. My well, pr presumably his dad was stronger, I guess. So somehow the mirrors kill him? No, what kills him is the uh, light. Yeah, the light, but how? Intensity. I think that's how it, it works. Stops at the crystal. I, mean, I like the gimmick, but it could have been done better, I believe. Because why would a dog? It'll be done in a different way soon enough. Don't worry. But but yeah, like you just have to hit the mirrors here to reflect the light until the crystal which burns his hands, which will eventually defeat him. And that's, that's how this. That's all how all the parts work. However, the third fight is a bit different. Oh shit! Did you burn the ropes hanging him up? No, sadly. But but yeah, like no. um, like this is probably the first time you will have really like really big snitch in playing the game. Like this is actually a fairly hard fight if you don't know how to dodge his bullets. But uh, if you don't have to dodge his bullets, he's not really hard, and you, wish you can initially just burn his hands. This is impossible. This is impossible. Pipsqueak like you, beating a big strong bruiser like me. Oh poor, oh boo hoo. Right. 
You want all of that stupid picture book? You're gonna have to go. So yeah, like if you didn't notice, uh, Mugshot basically he he took his uh, TV Circunus page, but he didn't like read it because he can't read. Yeah, it looked that way. Because he's a gangster. From my gunslinging ancestor, Tennessee Kid Cooper. Gangster. No cowboy. His specialty was the rail walk. Also remember Tennessee Kid Cooper. Moves perfected through a lifetime of theft in the old west. He's actually kind of important, I guess. Getting out of town proved to be a little more. Oh shit! More awesome cutscenes. <laughs> yep. Having just missed us. <laughs> the policemen are pigs. And the next best thing. Yeah. <laughs> Insert uh, NWA lyrics here. That was the end of Mugshot's How weird that some people can just change the world with their lyrics. And I'm sorry, they went, just went from Utah to uh, Hollywood. Ready for our next mission. It's halfway across America, I believe. Yeah. I, I think something like that. I'll actually check it out. So, but yeah, next we're done with Sunset Snake Eyes, and next time round we go to uh, we go to Haiti. See you then.